What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 7 which is titled The Dragon and the Wolf which is a really cool title because we've actually seen quite a few titles like that where it names two of the sigils from the houses. So I know in Season 1 there was an episode called I think The Wolf and the Lion. I think it was Episode 5 if I'm not mistaken. Then I know there was an episode called I think it was The Lion and the Rose. I think that was the one when Joffrey died. And then there was The Mountain and the Viper. Which, obviously, the mountain's not a sigil, but you know what I mean, it's just the name of the character. Uh, well, nickname form, I guess, which was the one Oberyn died. There's been a couple episodes titled that, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So that's cool. Obviously, the dragon and the wolf being, you know, Targaryens and Starks. And probably mainly referring to Daenerys and Jon here. So, the first thing I noticed when loading up this episode is the fact that it's an hour and 30 minutes long. Which is insane. So, I'm gonna just put a bet out here and say this might be the finale like i said i'm not gonna know until the credits it's either gonna be this episode the next episode or it could be episode nine technically all i know is it's less than 10 episodes so it could be this episode the fact that it's an hour and a half is leading me to believe that but i guess we won't know unless we just jump right into it so let's check this out if you want to see the full and cut reaction that'll be on my patreon links that will be in the description down below and of course don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel let's watch Grey Worm? Where are they? Wait, they're outside of King's Landing? <laughs> what? Wait, so they're gonna bring the White Walker right now then? Or it wasn't a White Walker, it was a White, right? They're getting all sorts of weapons set up. I really hope this... I don't know. I don't think it's gonna go well. I'd be so shocked if this goes smoothly. Like, there's no way Cersei's gonna see this dead person, zombie, practically, and just... I don't know. Men without cocks. You wouldn't find me fighting in an army if I had no cock. What's left to fight for? <laughs> oh shit. And the Dothraki. Well, it ended up being the Esso soldiers that were the ones to remain in the end. Because Tyrell army was taken out. Oh! Damn! Dude, if this turns into a battle of King's Landing, that would be crazy. Oh shit. How many people live here? A million, give or take. There's more people than the entire north crammed into that why would anyone want to live that way there's more work in the city <laughs> sounds like the city's in our country <laughs> it's like it's very tight you know but people go there for the work is the is the zombie in there i'm just gonna call it a zombie <laughs> that's basically what it is right why not just call it a zombie <laughs> if anything goes wrong kill the silver-haired bitch first then our brother and the bastard who calls himself king. The rest of them you can kill in any order you see fit. Come, Segrega. It's time for us to meet our guests. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't think that my excitement's too high right now. Oh. Maybe it still is. Oh, shit. Welcome, my lords. And Brienne's with them, yeah. Because she was sent to go there. I've been sent to escort <laughs> The hound's seeing Brienne <laughs> Pleasant surprise in an unpleasant situation. Oh shit! I'm glad you're alive. Come on, you can suck his magic cock later. <laughs> There's gonna be a trap. I know it for a fact. You can't trust Cersei. Bran wants to talk to him. I thought you were dead. Not yet. You came pretty close. I was only trying to protect her. You and me both. <laughs> That's true. That's why it was such a stupid fight. They both had the same goal. <laughs> Who's protecting her if you're here? The only one that needs protecting is the one that gets in your way. <laughs> it won't be me. Was that... Did they just make up right there? I think they just made up. <laughs> it's your head Queen Cersei's offered a bag of gold for us, not mine. Now, thanks to me, she's got two traitors' heads coming right through her door. She can lock them both off as soon as she gets tired. That's what I'm worried about here. Like, what if that happens? Yeah, now Tyrion's scared. <laughs> now he's scared. He's like, fuck, what if he's right? Which is why I can't see this being a good plan, but I don't know. I have no idea what Cersei's response is going to be. That's why it's so exciting. <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome. We've never seen this before, right? There's no way we've seen this before. At least I don't remember. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna turn into a fucking battle. I know it. They literally have them surrounded. Why are they allowing this? I guess Daenerys is on standby with those dragons, probably. So just in case something happens. Am I gonna die in this shit city? You might. I'm surprised he's even coming along with them. 
Seems every bad idea has some bannister cunt behind it. And some Clegane cunt to help them see it through. Oh, yeah, the mountain! Oh, shit! Uh, it's exciting seeing all these reunions, I'll be honest. There, there's reunions that I think had to happen eventually. You know what I mean? Like, it's all it's always building up to this. That's what I think this season's meant to be. It's building up. It's taking everything in the prior seasons and kind of just shoving them together finally. Oh, the music is uh, Light of the Seven. A remix of it, at least. This is so cool. What is he, what is he doing? The hell is he doing? Remember me? Yeah, you do. You're even fucking uglier than I am now. <laughs> Why are you saying this stuff? It's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known. Okay, don't kill him right now. Okay, good. Because <laughs> if he did something stupid, it would get them all killed. Well, he's leaving? Okay. Where is she? She'll be here soon. <laughs> it's quite quiet here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jamie just shat himself. <laughs> it's so sad only seeing two of them though, you know? Which one was the one that died, by the way? I'm not even sure. I, I don't know their names very well. I just know Drogon. And then I, I forget the other two names. <laughs> one hell of an entrance. All the main characters on screen together right now. That's a pretty big moment, I would say. Obviously, you know, Arya and Sansa are the only other big characters really not here, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> They're kids. <laughs> it's crazy, Sansa is probably the same age that, like, Jon and Rob were when Season 1 started. We are all facing a unique- Theon! I have your sister. Shut up. If you don't submit to me here now, I'll kill her. I think we ought to begin with larger concerns. Then why are you talking? Oh, shut up. Do you remember when we discussed dwarf jokes? His wasn't even good. He explained it at the end, never explained it, always ruins it. <laughs> you your kind live in the Iron Islands, you know. We kill you at birth. Perhaps you ought to sit down. Why? Hell sit yeah, Jamie. down or leave. Even Cersei's actually <laughs> somewhat defending Tyrion right now. I'm surprised Cersei's even allowed, like, doing this in the first place. That's why I keep thinking there's a trick up her sleeve, because I don't know. Guess we'll see. We have lost people we love at each other's hands. If all we wanted was more of the same, there would be no need for this gathering. We are entirely capable of waging war against each other without meeting face to face. So instead we should settle our differences and live together in harmony for the rest of our days. We all know that will never happen. Then why are we here? This isn't about living in harmony. It's just about living. The same thing is coming for all of us. An army that doesn't leave corpses behind on the battlefield. Lord Tyrion tells me a million people live in this city. They're about to become a million more soldiers in the army of the dead. I imagine for most of them it would be an improvement. <laughs> it's so weird seeing John here. It is so weird. Your capital will be safe until the Northern Thresh is dealt with. You have my word. The word of a would-be usurper. There is no conversation that will erase the last 50 years. Exactly. We have something to show you. This is gonna go really wrong. <laughs> Oh, is the Hound bringing it up? Yep. Please tell me it's still there and no one, like, took it out or some bullshit. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, Cersei knows now. Of course, Kyburn is so interested in it. <laughs> we can destroy them by burning them. Or with Valyrian steel or dragon glass. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. That was really cool. There is only one war that matters. The Great War. The Great War. <laughs> that sounds so badass. How many? 100,000 at least. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. Can they swim? No. Good. <laughs> yeah, he don't give a fuck. I'm taking the Iron Fleet back to the Iron Islands. What are you talking about? I've seen everything, things you couldn't imagine, and this... This is the only thing I've ever seen that terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, he's peacing. <laughs> if those things come for us, there'll be no kingdoms to rule. 
Everything we suffered will have been for nothing. The crown accepts your truth. Nice. I actually believe her too. Until the dead are defeated. They are the true enemy. Yeah, but that's a problem. What happens when the dead are defeated? They're just going to start fighting each other again, you know? In return, the king in the north will extend this truce. He will remain in the north where he belongs. He will not take up arms against the Lannisters. He will not choose sides. Just the king in the north? Not me. I would never ask it of you. <laughs> you would never agree to it, and if you did, I would trust you even less than I do now. <laughs> I know Ned Stark's son will be true to his word. I am true to my word. That is why I cannot give you what you ask. <laughs> I cannot serve two queens. And I've already pledged myself to Queen Daenerys. Then there is nothing left to discuss. The dead will come north first. Enjoy dealing with them. We will deal with whatever is left of you. Oh my god. Oh my god. We both saw that thing. Yes, and I'm not looking forward to seeing more of them. So I'm loyal to the queen, and you're loyal to sons and adult brothers. Oh, fuck loyalty! <laughs> This goes beyond houses and honor and oaths. Talk to the queen. And tell her what? Yeah, there's really nothing you could say, but you could try. How is there only a season left of this show? I feel like they can. there's so much more I feel like they could do. I'm grateful for your loyalty, but my dragon died so that we could be here. I'm pleased you bent the knee to our queen. I would have advised it, had you asked. But have you ever considered learning how to lie every now and then? <laughs> yeah, true. He could have. He could have lied. That's true. I'm not gonna swear an oath. I can't. Uphold. That is true. He could have fucking lied. That is so true. I didn't think of that. Why did I not? But when enough people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. Everyone stays here, and I go and talk to my sister. What? I didn't what the come hell are you gonna say? To have my hand murdered. I don't want Cersei to murder me either. I could have stayed in my cell and saved a great deal of trouble. I, I, I love this show so much because I don't really ever see easy solutions to things, you know? I never do. I always don't, honestly can't figure out the solution here. From certain characters' perspectives, obviously. Like, from Cersei's perspective, the solution's easy. Just stop being a piece of shit, you know? <laughs> That's an easy solution. But for these characters, like, having to deal with someone like Cersei and everything, it's just, I don't know what to do. Because killing her is not a great solution because then you're going to have the whole Lannister army against you. Not killing her is also a problem. Like, it's just, there's just, I don't know. It's amazing stuff, though. Holy shit, he's back in here. I really hope Tyrion doesn't die. Daenerys didn't want to debate and negotiate. She didn't want to bring you words. She wanted to bring you fire and blood until I advised her otherwise. I don't want to destroy our family. I never have. You killed our father. After he sentenced me to death for a crime I didn't commit. Yes, I killed him. Hate me for it if you want. I hate myself for it in spite of what he was, in spite of what he did to me. Oh, poor little man. You may not have killed Joffrey, but you killed Marcella, you killed Tommen. No one would have touched them. That doesn't no make sense. I will not hear it not from you. I will not hear it! It's a good thing Olena confessed, because I think she would have killed him right here and there if she didn't hear that from Jamie. I will always be a threat, so put an end to me. No, 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 no. If it weren't for me, here. you'd have a mother. If it weren't for me, fuck out of here, father. Tyrion, please stop. I've thought about killing you more times than I can count. Tyrion, please stop. Do it. Tyrion, stop. Jesus Christ! Why do you gotta scare me like that, Show? Oh, come on. If there's no future, then why are we here? Why did you allow me to come? Not to help my enemies collaborate in my destruction. Yes, no, not what you hoped for, but you must have hoped for something. What did you hope for? Peace. Because I think she will make the world a better place. You said she'd destroy King's Landing. <laughs> she chose an advisor who would check her worst impulses instead of feeding them that's the difference between you i don't care about checking my worst impulses i don't care about making the world a better place hang the world that's why you're a terrible queen and when it came at me i didn't think about the world not at all as soon as it opened its mouth the world disappeared for me right down its black throat all i could think about was keeping those gnashing teeth away from the ones who matter most away from my family you're pregnant yep that was a phenomenal scene I would argue one of the best scenes of this season, easily. And your family hasn't seen its end. You're still here. I can't have children. Who told you that? I mean, you the can, you just don't husband. want to. 
Has it occurred to you she might not have been oh, a reliable yeah. source of information? I forgot about that whole thing. I forgot she was pregnant at some point. I trusted you, everything would be different. So what now? I can't forget what I saw north of the wall. And I can't pretend that Cersei won't take back half the country the moment I march north. He didn't come to much of a conclusion with her. They're back? Wait, but what was the... What? Just because he found out she was pregnant? There, there must have been more to it. My armies will not stand down. I will not pull them back to the capital. Okay. I will march them north to fight alongside you in the Great War. Oh, shit. What, what the hell did Tyrion say? That whole conversation was enough to convince? We'll face it together. What? And when the Great War is over, perhaps you'll remember I chose to help. I'm glad they're working together, but the only issue is afterwards, what are they gonna do? <laughs> Assuming they win. Perhaps John tried to send word earlier. No. This is the way he is, the way he's always been. Never asked for my opinion, why would he start now? Why is Sansa turning into such a hater lately, I swear? <laughs> it's the Dragon Queen. It's quite beautiful. John is young and unmarried. You think he wants to marry her? An alliance makes sense. Together, they'd be difficult to defeat. Could someone please kill Tyrion? Or, I called him Tyrion again. Littlefinger. Even if I wanted to, Arya would never go along. She'd kill anyone who betrayed her family. Would Arya really murder her own sister? What do you think she's after? Sometimes, when I try to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. I assume the worst. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> that's god-awful idea. Littlefinger's manipulation used to, be, used to be so subtle. Now it's just in your face. <laughs> Everything he says is manipulation. You, you know it is. It used to be so much more subtle, though. She could want me dead because she thinks I wronged my family. Why did you come to Winterfell? To kill me. Oh, Sansa, what? I, you know, she did threaten to kill her. Never mind. That's actually not a... <laughs> These fucking sisters, man. After she murders you, what does she become? Lady of Winterfell. <laughs> Come on, no. You gotta know Arya doesn't want that, though. I think she's made that pretty clear in the past. And the Unsullied? We can sail with them to White Harbor, meet the Dothraki here on the King's Road, then ride together to Winterfell. Perhaps you should fly. They're all to going Winterfell, to Winterfell. You have many enemies in the north. But if we're gonna be allies in this war, it's important for the northerners to see us as allies. If we sail to White Harbor together, I think it sends a better message. I've not come to conquer the north. I'm coming to save the north. We sail together. You risked everything to tell an enemy the truth. We went down there to make peace. And it seems to me, we need to be honest with each other if we're going to fight together. You've always known what was right. I always wanted to do the right thing, but never knew what that meant. Like there was an impossible choice I had to make, Stark or Greyjoy. Our father was more of a father to you than yours ever was. He was. And you betrayed him, but you never lost him. He's a part of you. From the things I've done. It's not my place to forgive you for all of it. But what I can forgive, I do. You don't need to choose. You're a great joy, and you're a stop. Yeah, I like that thought process. You don't have to choose. It's a st stupid thing to feel like you need to choose. I'm a little worried he's gonna like... When I was Ramsay's prisoner... I'll, I'll say it later. Yara tried to save me. Oh, he's gonna ask if they can go save Yara. That's what I was gonna say. I'm, I'm worried he's gonna try to save Yara, but I mean, if he asks he John... Maybe they can send so a team. Still talking to me? Oh, he's got this little team here. I guess he can do it with them. I thought he was going to ask for John's help. All of us chose to follow Yara. She would never leave one of us behind. We're not leaving her behind. Your sister's dead. She's not dead. She's dead. Even if Euron hasn't cut her throat yet, she's dead. She's our queen. She's your sister. We're going to sail east, find a nice quiet island, kill all the men, and take their wives. God damn. Run away, little Theon. It's what you do best. Damn, man. Oh, come on. I feel bad for Theon. I felt bad for him for a while now. We all hated him in season two, and once he got taken by Ramsay, it's kind of changed ever since. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a dick, so it's not going to hurt as bad. It still would hurt, though, right? Oh, <laughs> 
Holy shit. Oh, damn. They're going to fight for him now after seeing how badass he is. <laughs> they're going to fight for him now. Not for me. For Yara. <laughs> I guess they're going to. Yeah, they're going to go. Have my sister brought to the great hall. For what? You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? What? Lord Baelish. <laughs> Look at his face. That shit lit up. He's like, what? I'm a bit confused. Which charges confuse you? Oh, wait! You murdered our aunt, Lysa Arryn. You pushed her through the moon door. Oh, she's... She was talking, she was asking the question to him. You did it to take power in the veil. Earlier, you conspired to murder John Aaron. Oh! Thank you, Sansa. Thank you for being smart. Thank you. Thank you. You had Aunt Lysa send a letter to our parents telling them it was the Lannisters who murdered John Aaron when really it was you. The conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters, it was you who started it. Do you deny it? Yep. Nice. None of you were there to see what happened. None of you knows the truth. Oh, Brando's. A knife to his throat. <laughs> Brando's everything. <laughs> you said, I did warn you not to trust me. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister. But that was another one of your lies. Yep. Thank God, man. I've protected you. Protected me by selling me to the Boltons. Exactly. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so happy. Sansa was uh, and Arya were going to go down in my lists if they they didn't do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I assume the worst. What's the worst reason you have for turning me against my sister? Yup. Oh, that is so cool. That's what you've always done. Turn family against family. Turn sister against sister. That's what you did to our mother and Aunt Lysa. That, that, oh yeah, that was exactly, that's so smart. It's exactly what he did to their mother. I am Lord Protector of the Vale and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I They're think gonna have him executed. They're gonna have his ass executed. <laughs> I beg you. Oh, he's on his knees. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet he betrayed her. I loved you more than anyone. And yet he betrayed me. When you brought me back to Winterfell, you told me there's no justice in the world, not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. <laughs> Who's going to be the executor? Is it going to be Ari? Oh! oh! Holy shit! It's honestly kind of sad to see him go because he's been there so long since season one, but he deserved it. Wow. Thank. Thank you, Sansa. Thank you, Arya. Thank you for finally coming to y'all's senses. Thank you. The remaining forces in the Westerlands will take the river road east. We'll meet at Lord Howway's town and march together to Winterfell. What are you doing? Preparing the expedition north. I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. There's no way she was lying. The Starks and Targaryens have united against us and you want to fight alongside oh them. Oh my god. Oh, she was lying. Come I'll enemy. say whatever I need to say to ensure the survival of our house. Oh my god. You expect me to command our troops to fight beside foreign scum? To fight for the Dragon Queen? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw a dead man trying to kill us. And I saw it burn. If dragons can't stop them, how will our armies make a difference? This isn't about noble houses. This is about the living and the dead. Let the Stark boy and his new queen defend the North. We stay here where we've always been. Why did I not think that she was capable of lying? Of course she's capable of lying. Why wouldn't she lie? Our child will never be born if the dead come south. When the fighting in the North is over, someone wins. You understand that, don't you? If the dead win, they march south and kill us all. If the living win, and we've betrayed them. They march south and kill us all. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. We can't beat them. We can't beat their dragons. How many dragons did you see at the pit? Two. What happened to the third? For all we know, it's guarding a fleet. <laughs> well, it's, it's now working for the White Walkers. So <laughs> it's kind of even worse. We can't beat the Dothraki. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the support of the other houses. No, we have something better. We have the Iron Bank. The hell's money going to do for you? You should have listened more when father spoke about the importance of gold. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to pay off the White Walkers? Like... High Garden bought us the most powerful army in Essos. Bravo, soldiers. How 
Is a mercenary company in Essos going to help us? Do you really think you're on Greyjoy turn tail and sail back to the Iron Islands? Oh, he picked them all up. Oh shit! He went there to. He's sailing with his fleet to Essos. He's oh going to ferry the shit! Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. Oh shit! You plotted with Euron Greyjoy, without telling me the command of your armies. And you conspired with Tyrion. I didn't conspire. You with him. met with him in secret without my consent. You planned to promote my enemy's interests. That is the definition of conspiracy. I pledged to ride north. I intend to honor that pledge. Thank you. Treason. treason. Oh, fuck off. I told you no one walks away from me. Are you going to order him to kill me? I'm the only one you have left. Our children are gone. Our father is gone. It's just me and you now. There's one more yet to go. There's no way. Give the order then. There's no fucking way. Stop. No, come on. No, don't do it. No, what the fuck? What? Piss off. I don't believe you. No, fuck you. Wait, is, is he going to be fine? I mean, the mountain's not doing anything. Okay, we're good, we're good. I thought... <laughs> she was bluffing. <laughs> that scared the piss out of me, man. <laughs> that scared... The... <laughs> Almost had me freaking... Oh. That had me terrified. Is he gonna go to the north? What is that? Oh, is it snowing? All the way down south? That's how you know winter is truly coming. Well, it's already here, actually, but you know what I mean. Oh, Jamie's gonna go north to help them. Oh, that's gonna be nice to see. That's gonna be so nice to see. Wow, look at that. Snowing throughout King's Landing. Okay, this is definitely the finale. This this feels such like a finale right now. Oh, look, that's a that's a beautiful shot. Oh, Sam. Dude, like, everyone's gonna be at Winterfell in Season 8, it looks like. It's just gonna be everyone at Winterfell. Samuel Tarly. I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. I remember everything. <laughs> John's the one to lead the fight against the dead. I know he is, but he can't do it alone. So I've come here to help him. He's on his way back to Winterfell with Daenerys Targaryen. He saw this in a vision. <laughs> he needs to know the truth. Oh shit. Please let him hear about this this episode. Please. John isn't really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, <laughs> Lyanna Stark. He was born in a tower in Dawn. His last name isn't really Snow, it's Sand. Yep, John Sand. <laughs> it's not. Dornish bastards are named Sand. At the Citadel, I transcribed a High Septon's diary. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Elia. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. Oh, so he wouldn't be a bastard because they're married. Oh, yeah, we heard about that a couple episodes ago. Oh, that was the purpose of that. So he's not a bastard then. Father, Smith, warrior, mother. So had, I guess he didn't see everything, yeah. But there you go. I am hers, and she is mine. Oh, that's Rhaegar? Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Wait! Rhaegar didn't kidnap my aunt. What? He was a good dude? Well, I mean, a, a, be, better than what we know, we heard. Are you kidding me? He loved her. What? I need to pause this. Are you fucking kidding me? So you're, you're telling me this whole time, when we've been hearing about those stories, about what Rhaegar did, they were actually just a happy couple? And he was, she was promised to, to Robert, but, but I guess Robert assumed she was abused by him again I, I can't use the r word because youtube doesn't like when i use it holy shit so yeah that would mean the entire rebellion yeah like he said it was built on a lie what the fuck <laughs> i didn't think we'd be getting any more big reveals but I th i'd say it's a pretty freaking huge reveal man i mean just them being married was still pretty big i, I sort of i should have thought of that because yeah why would they get married i, I guess it's possible that, that happens all the time even in our world people get married even in abusive relationships all the time. But I just didn't really think about it. But yeah, I mean, just based on that, I mean, they were a happy couple. Holy shit. Okay, let's let's continue. All right. Holy shit. And she loved him. No. 
No, 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 no. Don't do what I think you're going to do. Don't do what I think you're going to do. No, don't do it. Please don't do it. No. Please don't. And John. John's real name. He's never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even piecing it together, but yeah, that would mean he's the heir. I'm sorry, my mind's just a little blown right now. <laughs> you did the right thing. You did it. Well, it makes sense why Ned didn't actually use the name Aegon. <laughs> You're the Lady of Winterfell. I have so much to say about this episode. This this has to be the finale. This has to be. I never could have survived what you survived. You would have. You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> I love this show. Can John please come home? I want I want him to find out already. He'll probably throw up after finding out though. <laughs> He'll probably throw up. <laughs> But that's just so crazy. I didn't even think about him being... Oh, that's the edge of the wall right there. So yeah, how are they going to get past the wall? I feel like their dragon's going to do something. Oh yeah, so Beric stayed here with Tormund. I think they're coming. They're going to be there. Yep, there they are. They got to blast those horns. Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? I'm just waiting for the dragon. Oh, <laughs> they got the giants too. Yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> Holy shit! Season eight's gonna be fun. I I'm like 99% sure this is the finale. This there's no way this isn't the finale. It's coming, isn't it? Oh my god! Blue fire! It's so fast! Why is it so fast? <laughs> that blue fire is terrifying, man. We've seen green fire with the wildfire. We've seen just regular fire. And we've seen blue fire, man. Holy shit, he's taking out the wall. I didn't think it would destroy it. No, Tormund and Beric are going to get killed. I hope to God not. <laughs> Holy shit. Beric, you son of a bitch, you better get out of there. No, wait, that- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There, There's no way they didn't make it. Or there's no way they made it. There's absolutely no way those two made it. Shit. Okay, so it didn't destroy the whole wall, but just that part of it, obviously. That's all they needed to do, and they're gonna fucking go right through. <laughs> Holy shit. So you're telling me if they didn't go, they would have never gone the dragon, and they probably would have never crossed the wall. Yeah, good, good job. Good job, Daenerys and Jon and all of you who decided to do that plan. <laughs> just, you did that plan just to make Cersei do nothing, because she's not even going to help you, so what the fuck does it matter? <laughs> That's so fucked up. This has to be the finale. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it is. Season 8, episode 1 is the next episode. You gotta be shitting me. Well, that means we're doing the character tier list, but we'll do it in just a little bit. I just want to talk about this episode first because that, that blew my mind. So, first things first, um, the whole meeting I thought was really cool. It was really long, but it was it was cool. It's just, it really sucks that it ended up with just the simple solution of, well, really nothing because there was no solution to be made. Cersei's not going to help them, and they think she's helping them. So, it's basically just not working in their favor whatsoever. That is a big problem. Um, 
great scenes though, especially Tyrion and Cersei. Their scene was amazing. The stuff on Winterfell was actually pretty good this episode as well. I was getting really annoyed with Sansa and Arya, just their back and forth bickering about stuff that's mostly not even true between the both of them and just saying stupid shit to each other that I just, I was getting sick of it. Thankfully though, that that's over now. <laughs> they are sisters and they work together in the end to get um, Littlefinger killed, which is interesting because Bran stepped in to say all these things about Littlefinger, but like... Why couldn't a brand said that in the beginning? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> originally I thought Bran wasn't saying those things. Maybe from some obligation. Maybe he's not allowed to say certain things as the Three-Eyed Raven. But I guess he is. Because he's telling everyone everything apparently. So no more secrets are going to be able to be kept from anyone in Winterfell it seems. Because Bran's just going to tattletale on everyone it seems. So <laughs> there's that. And I'm glad they got to kill him. I'm glad Arya got to kill Littlefinger. Especially with the blade itself. That was really cool. So... Yeah. Then we learn something pretty crazy with the fact that John is not a bastard because he was he was born into marriage. They had that secret ceremony. We actually learned about that ceremony a couple episodes ago. I didn't think about it. When 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 Gilly said that in that book when she mentioned it, I didn't think about it. I was just like, okay, she's talking about Rhaegar getting married or something. I was like, I don't know, maybe that was to someone else, maybe someone before. I had no idea. I wasn't really thinking to be honest. Maybe I should have been thinking more. I'm sure if I was watching these episodes live when they first came out and I had more time to digest and like rewatch the episodes like I feel like people usually do when the episodes air live, maybe I would have thought of it, but I didn't think of it. But it doesn't matter because they revealed it to us here and wow. So that means he's not a bastard this whole time. Battle of the Bastards wasn't even Battle of the Bastards because he's not even a bastard. And um, his name was meant to be Aegon, which is crazy because um, Obviously, that was the I, that was the king before the Mad King, correct? I'm right about that. So that was um, King Ares is uh, or the Mad King, um, his father, which would mean that was Rhaegar's and Daenerys's grandfather was Aegon, whom was also brothers to Maester Aemon from the Night's Watch. I'm pretty sure I'm right about all that. And that is fucking huge, but obviously Ned was not going to keep that name because that would cause all sorts of problems. So he just gave it John, which is a very simple name. Said it was a snow because um, it's easier to say that you had sex with some random person than to obviously try to explain all that. And that makes it even more crazy because originally, let's say it was born out of, you know, Rhaegar abusing her. Then... I feel like she would have less of a reason to lie to Robert because no, she's the thing. That's the thing. She still would have had a reason. She still would have had a reason to, to lie or to tell Ned to lie to Robert and lie to everyone else really because, um, she would be worried that Robert would kill the baby. Right. Which to a degree makes a lot of sense that she would be worried about that. And this makes it even bigger of a problem because if he finds out that not only is it you know their child but it's also the fact that they were together that that would be a lot more would happen you know but the whole rebellion a lot of it was or pretty much all of it was built on what happened there with what Rhaegar did so like Brandt said, it was built on a lie. The entire Robert's Rebellion. That is fucking crazy. And we've been learning about that rebellion since the freaking first season. Learned a lot about it in History and Lore videos as well. And the fact that it all was based on that, that wasn't even true. That is fucking insane. I, I love big reveals like that that you just don't see coming. They, they're always the best, in my opinion. I absolutely love stuff like that. And, of course, the White Walkers are now in past the wall, in the north, in Westeros. Holy shit, season eight's gonna be insane. Hopefully it delivers. I'm probably gonna take a couple days before I get into it. I have a couple other things I wanna get to first. I need to, you know, watch more episodes of other shows, but once I jump into the season eight, I'm just, it's gonna be exciting. So let's do the character tier list because that's always a lot of fun. Okay, let's jump into this character tier list for season seven. There's definitely a lot less characters this season compared to some other seasons because uh, they definitely shortened the amount of characters they focus on. And it makes perfect sense why they would do that. They're getting towards the end of the show. They got to wrap things up. It, it makes perfect sense. So 
Starting off with, of course, Tyrion. He's been an S tier ever since season one, and that is not changing today. He's one of my favorite characters probably in fiction at this point, to be honest. Like, I, I think he's just such a well-written character all around. I do think he was more interesting in the earlier seasons, though, like seasons one through four, I want to say. Honestly, once he killed his father, I feel like he became a little less interesting. He's still really interesting, though. It's not That's not really a negative for him. It's just the fact that I do think he was better in the earlier seasons. I think some of his dialogue was a bit better and some of his purpose in the story was a bit better. He's still incredible, though, especially that scene with Cersei this past episode I thought was fantastic. Jamie is staying in S-tier as well. I mean, that battle in episode four, watching him, and it was incredible. But even just a lot of his conversations with Cersei, the fact that he still holds this, you know, love for her. But it's starting to become a thing where he he's worried of her. And I honestly started to feel like there was going to be a point where they were going to parallel the the mad king situation where he killed a mad king i was really thinking are they going to do a parallel with that where daenerys is trying to do something horrible like killing a bunch of people just like she did with the sept baylor but something like that again and then jamie would have to make a difficult decision to kill her in order to stop that from happening obviously her being pregnant i you know don't think he would do that now but he of course left at the end of the episode he's heading north because he cares to help with the battle against the army of the dead. Very thankful he's doing that. He's going to get to Winterfell and hopefully work with everyone there. And there's going to be some really cool scenes against the White Walkers next season. Cersei is going to go in S tier as well. She's a very, very, very hateable character. I despise her in most, most of the time, but that, that means the character is doing what it's supposed to do very, very well. The actress, I don't know her name, but she is amazing in this role. I gotta, I gotta look up all these actors and actresses after the show. Uh, I obviously I know some of them like Amelia Clark and and Kit Harrington, but in general I don't look them up because I'm worried of seeing spoilers. So I'm not gonna look them up until afterwards. I'll definitely learn more about them and stuff after. Uh, but she's amazing. Daenerys, of course S as well. That's probably not gonna change. These characters have been here for quite some time, and it's just it's just how it is. She's definitely been one of the better characters of the past few seasons. Obviously. She's been probably the main focus of the past few seasons. I would even go as far as to call her the main character. Her alongside John, I would say. I would say the their it's their story pretty much. This this show, pretty much them two and Tyrion are like the main three. And yeah, John deserves to be in S tier as well. He's incredible, and learning more and more about him every episode is just making me like him more and more and more. Um, Littlefinger is going to go in A tier, of course, got his death, which I thought was very fitting for him, and it worked perfectly, everything, you know, thankful that Sansa and Arya were able to come together on that, and I thought the death scene was quite fitting. Ser Davos, he's going in S as well. Did I put him in S last season? I don't remember, but he deserves it. He is a fantastic character. He's definitely one of the most improved characters, because he was interesting in the first season he was in, in season two, but he just got better and better and better to the point where he is now one of my favorite characters. Now we got Sansa. I'm going to put Sansa in S. I think I had her in S as well last season. I know this is, cr I'm putting so many people in S. That's just the thing about this show. There's just so many good characters, and I was getting annoyed with her in episode five and six, but... Thankfully, they came together in the end. I'll put them both together, actually, because they were kind of annoying me. But it wasn't like it wasn't out of character necessarily. It just kind of felt like one of those like petty just sisters fighting sort of a thing. And it was just kind of like, come on, come on, come together. Come on. Uh, but it made sense for some of the arguments that they were having. I just I didn't like when Arya was threatening to kill her, for example, like that was just come on too much. Uh, the Red Woman, I don't really know if there's even a purpose for this character ever again, to be honest. I don't know if we need to see her again. I hope we do, though, because she is quite interesting. I'm going to put her in A. Um, that, I just... Actually, no. I, I feel like her purpose was kind of done after Season 6. Once she revived John, I don't really think she had a purpose anymore beyond that. So I don't even know if I'd put her in A. I kind of feel like she's just... She's fine. I'll put her in B. I, it's not really the, the character that I like. It's just the whole idea of the Lord of Light and all that comes with that that I think is really interesting and there's a lot of unique concepts with it so that makes her character more interesting but obviously we have other characters who are involved with that as well so it's not like she's the only one uh Missande, I'll put her in B she's 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 decent I don't think she's necessarily one of the best characters but she's fine um Ilaria that's her name right Sand put her in C I, I don't really I've 
she has good scenes. I, I'm right now she's actually imprisoned by Cersei. We haven't seen her since episode three when she was in prison. So I don't know if they're going to show her again or not. But I don't know. I, I guess we'll we'll find out later on. Um, Theon. Theon's going to get A for me. I hope we get to see him take back Yara from the Iron Islands. Hopefully next episode. That would be nice. But um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Brienne. Going to go A as well. I do think she was better in seasons three and four and around that, that time. But she is still pretty badass. And I'm never going to get sick of seeing her in scenes. I, my favorite scene with her this season was definitely that scene between her and Arya. Where they had that little practice duel. That was cool. Uh, Varys, uh, probably just A. He's fantastic, but I, I couldn't put him up here with the likes of these characters. Sam, A as well. Kind of the same deal. Like He's incredible, but you just you can't put him in S. Bran, after all this time, he's... He's still not going to go that high. I'm sorry, dude. You're just not that interesting compared to other people. It's really cool how he's a three-eyed raven. Now he gets to see everything, know everything. But, I mean, it does make him less of an interesting character because he's emotionless, obviously. An emotionless character is going to be less interesting than one full of emotion. It's very obvious. But he is interesting, at least on the fact that he knows everything. But everything else about him, I, I just, I don't know. If he wasn't a Stark, I wouldn't really give a shit. So, you know, B is fine, I guess. Braun had a lot of cool moments this season, actually. I was very shocked to not see him die. I thought for sure he was going to die. I'm going to throw him in, I want to say the B or the A tier. I'll put him in A. A sounds good for Braun. Gilly, I'll go for Put her in B. She's always really sweet when she's on screen, but there's not really much to her other than that. Uh, Gendry. Where the hell was Gendry this past episode? I don't even know. I don't know where he went, but fucking love Gendry. <laughs> Gendry's the goat, man. I'm sorry. He's just he's just a fun character. And seeing him come back this season, I know he was quite literally in one episode, but I loved it. Tormund. Freaking such a cool character. The Hound. Also amazing. Glad to see him back this season. Um, Jorah's going in A as well. Holy shit, this show is full of amazing characters. Kyburn, I don't really care. Sorry, dude. Uh, Grey Worm, you're probably on the same tier with Masande, I would say. Uh, Euron, he's a really threatening villain, so I'm gonna put him in A for that. The Mountain, he's, he has no lines of dialogue. I don't know, he's just cool to look at, so... <laughs> Beric, Beric's fucking awesome. I'm sorry, there's just too many fucking awesome characters. Oh, Tarly, um, the Tarleys, I guess. Let's see, sorry, dudes. Um, the Night King, just for his badassery. You know what? We'll add a new tier just for him. We'll make it black. Actually, you can't even read it when it's black. We'll make it purple. Shit in my pants tier. That's what it is. All right. Thoros, eh, not as cool as not as cool as Beric, but I'll put him in B. Uh <laughs> fuck, I don't remember her name. Was it Mira or something? Something like that? She just kind of left. So I'll put her in C. Podrick. He doesn't have much to do anymore, which is unfortunate. He was so much cooler before when he had more stuff to do, but I still love my man Podrick. Put him in A. Uh, Lyanna, Mormons, B. Lady Olena, oh, she's the GOAT. She's the GOAT. I'm putting her in S. I'm sorry. I'm, gl I'm glad they gave her that death scene. As much as I didn't want to see her die, I thought it was very fitting for the characters, so I'm going to leave her there. Um... This was one of the, yeah, I'll just put her next to her mother, I guess. Yara, we'll go in A. Hot Pie, I'll put you in B because you're fun. Benjin, I mean, you're cool, but I wanted to see more of you, man. 
I'll just throw them there. I don't know. I have less to say about these characters because I feel like I've already said so much about them. Even just we the season six tier list only seven episodes ago. Like the season had a lot to it, but I feel like it was mostly action and like big events. There wasn't actually much character development, which is probably why I don't really have any big changes for some of these characters in terms of my opinions on them. I think the only characters that I felt had a lot of development this season I definitely John and Daenerys more than anyone. Uh, Tyrion to a degree. Jaime and Cersei and their relationship definitely. The main characters definitely had a lot of development, but some of these side ones, I feel like they didn't really do much. Like, did Gilly have any development this season? No. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, there's just some characters that I just don't feel like I have anything new to say about them compared to what I used to, which is why I kind of did this quite fast. Um, we usually just rank the characters in the S tier. Um... I think John is going to be number one. Sorry, Tyrion, you're number two now. Daenerys, number three. Arya's not that high anymore. Sorry. Uh, Jaime, then Arya, then Cersei. Yeah, that looks good, actually. All right, I'm not going to list... I'm not going to write the rest of those, so that's going to do it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to see the full cut reaction, go check that out. Linked will be in the description down below for my Patreon. You can watch all these episodes, early access, and the full uncuts. Definitely worth checking that out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.